This is a short supplement to the Save System tutorial. It covers the Save System prefabs and scene portals. I'll demonstrate using the Dialog System's demo scenes. This is the original demo scene, except I turned off some informational pop-ups so they don't get in the way visually. We can run up to the door and use it using the player's selector component. The door has a dialog system trigger that changes the scene. The Dialog Manager game object has save system components configured on it. If you don't want to configure the save system and scene transition manager components yourself, you can download pre-configured prefabs. Go to the Dialog System Extras page and download the Save System Prefabs package. Then import it into your project. The prefabs will import into Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Common, Save System Prefabs. Add the Save System Prefab to your scene and add the loading screen scene to your scene list. On the dialog manager, remove the save system component since there should only be one save system component in your scene. The save system prefab's standard scene transition manager is configured to fade out and fade in and show a loading screen while the next scene is loading. You can customize this loading scene however you want, including customizing the progress bar or removing the progress bar altogether. And this is what it looks like when using the Save System Prefab. Now, instead of using this dialog system trigger to change scenes, we'll set up a scene portal. I'll copy the spawn point name so that I don't have to retype it. Then we'll deactivate that trigger. And while you could add an instance of the Scene Portal Prefab, I'll just go ahead and use this existing trigger collider that was used for an informational alert. Instead of showing the alert, we'll add a Scene Portal component. Note that the layer is set to default, which in this project registers collisions with the player's player layer. We set the destination scene name, and we paste in the spawn point name. Now, if we play and enter that trigger collider, you'll see that we get a smooth scene transition with an intermediary loading screen. And as before, since the player has a position saver component with the use player spawn point checkbox ticked, the player is moved to the spawn point. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.